This is step six in a series of presentations on how to use hyperlinks in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now in this little tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how we can use hotspots over an image. So here I have my image of a person uh, ice climbing, and if I click on the ice axe, it will take me to a page with information about the ice axe. I can then click on the harness, I can click on the boots. So I've created hotspots um, on the image, which then take you to somewhere. And that could be anything. It could take you to a website, or it could take you to another page within the presentation, as I've done here. Uh, or it could even open up another file. So let's look at how we're going to create that. So I'll come out of the presentation. And here we can see how it has been created. So I've got my image that I found. In this case, I've used a clip art image. What I've then done is I've drawn shapes, which are kind of the hot spots on top of the uh, parts of the image that I want the person to click on. I've then created the hyperlink from that shape to uh, the slides that I want the, the link to go to. So that's the same sort of principle as before. So I'll just show you how easy it is to create the shapes first of all. So I'm going to use insert and then shapes. Now if what I'm clicking on is a regular shape you could use a circle or a triangle or a rectangle but the easiest one to use is this one here which is called freeform. So if I click on that now the way this works is you start at one point on your shape, so I'm going to start at the edge of my helmet, and then I click once, and what happens is the line will stick to the mouse until I click again. So I can move my mouse to another kind of corner of the shape and click, and then I can move to another corner, click, 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 click. And when I get back to the beginning, it will complete the shape and make it into a, a, a coloured filled shape. So I would go around and I would draw my shapes and my objects like that. I'll just do another one on the ice axe just for completeness. So again, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go to there, to there, click, 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 click to cover it in. I can then have my hyperlink. So where do I want to hyperlink to? That one needs to go to ice axe. Click on OK. That one needs to go to helmet. OK. Uh, once I've got all my hyperlinks created, uh, from my, my shapes. I then need to make them invisible so you can't see them. Now I need to select all of the shapes without selecting the picture. So the easiest way for me to do that is to start with my mouse off of the picture and then drag it around. Now it, everything that is completely within inside this region will be selected. So because I've not got the whole of the picture inside it doesn't select the picture, it just selects the shapes within it. and That's quite important. I'm then going to go to Format and the shape fill. Now you could choose the no fill option but in some situations that doesn't work um, because it will then see the shapes being transparent. So what I'm going to do is go to more fill colors and it doesn't matter what color I've got all I'm going to do is slide the transparency so it's 100% transparent. I'm then going to go to shape outline and I'm going to have no outline. So now you can't see those shapes. What I would then do is I would then select everything, so the picture and the shape. So again, I drag my mouse, so it, it covers everything uh, within it, and you can see it selected the shape, uh, the picture, it selected all the different shapes within it. I'd copy that, and then I'd go on to each of my destination slides, and I would paste exactly the same as in the previous tutorial. You'll notice here that I've got two boots, so both of these shapes will hyperlink to the same slide, and that's absolutely fine. Um, and you can also, uh, if you've got like a layered image, so for example the harness I drew first and then I did the ice screws on top of the harness and because the ice screws are on top it means if I click on them it will choose the ice screws and not choose the harness that's behind it. And we can create some very effective uh, act sort of activities where the students have to click uh, on a part of a diagram to answer a question and it will then take them to a slide to tell them if they're right or they're wrong. Um, you can also use it uh, just as a way of students sort of investigating something. I use it a lot with anatomical diagrams, so like the skeleton and muscles and things like that, where clicking on different parts will tell you what's happening.